I'm Alex Villarreal with the VOA Special English Economics Report. On December 1st, Ireland's Prime Minister Brian Cowan announced measures to cut the biggest budget deficit in Europe. He said, Today, we've come to announce a four year plan between now and 2014. It's to bring certainty for our people. It's to ensure they have hope for the future. The plan aims to cut spending and raise taxes by $20 billion. These austerity measures are a step toward getting aid from the European Union and the International Monetary Fund. But Mr. Cowan's government could fall before the next budget is passed. The government asked for help after weeks of saying it did not need any. The EU and the IMF are expected to provide about $115 billion, or about half of Ireland's economy. Ireland got into trouble by guaranteeing the debts of its banks during the world financial crisis two years ago. That promise has now cost over $60 billion. Roisin O'Sullivan is an economics professor at Smith College in Massachusetts and a former economist at the Central Bank of Ireland. She says all deposits were guaranteed. Investors who had bought bonds in the banks also received the government guarantee. She says Irish bankers and banking supervisors had too close of a relationship. Ireland was known as the Celtic Tiger in the 1990s. Its educated English-speaking workers and low taxes appealed to foreign companies. Its economy grew quickly. But foreign investment and low interest rates raised prices to levels that could not be supported. Bad property loans hit hard at Ireland's main banks. Unemployment is over 13 percent. Ireland's bank bailout and government spending have expanded the deficit to more than 30 percent of gross domestic product. This is 10 times the EU limit for a deficit in relation to the size of an economy as measured by GDP. But John James at Pace University in New York State says there is little the European Union can do. Germany and France want to give the European Commission more power over national budgets. For now, rescues by the European Central Bank and other lenders are the only answer in a debt crisis. EU officials want to complete the Irish aid plan quickly. They want to be ready in case of more bad news from economies like Greece, Portugal, and Spain. For VOA Special English, I'm Alex Villarreal.